But what if, at the very last minute, they say, you know what, continue down to the orange dot, continue down to the orange dot. I'm Jason Miller, a full-time professional flight instructor. On the Final Points channel, you can join me as I bring you tips and tricks that I've learned from 20 years on the flight line. So here we are, we're at Auburn Airport. I'm in a rented, trusty 172, I'm an old model, a uh, six-year-old golf. And I'm gonna take you guys up in the pattern here at Auburn and we're gonna practice three skills that I think uh, everybody should brush up on if your plan is to fly to Oshkosh this summer. Every year, nearly 700,000 people descend on the small town of Oshkosh, Wisconsin to attend what is arguably the greatest air show on planet Earth. Pilots flying into this air show, and there are many of them, have to follow strict arrival procedures published in an FAA NOTAM. But we're not gonna cover the specifics of that route, the Fisk arrival on this video. What I wanna talk to you guys about are three skills that I think you can be practicing in the next few months uh, to help you stay safe during the Fisk arrival or any other air show you're flying into. And here's what they are. The first one is tight airspeed control. You have to be able to control your airspeed without losing or gaining altitude. You are going to be following an airplane and for many of you closer than you've ever been to another airplane. All right, you guys, so once you pick up the airplane that you're going to follow in on the Fisk arrival, uh, you have to maintain your speed or be able to maintain your speed pretty precisely because if you start to close in on that aircraft and you get closer than say, you know, a half mile or a quarter mile, you're going to want to tight, you know, you want to loosen that up a little bit. So you're going to have to be able to control your speed without losing altitude. So the first thing we're going to brush up on here is just a reminder about slow flight. Uh, you can see that we're here in the pattern at 100 miles per hour, 2,500 on the downwind. I don't think you can see it, but we're following somebody in front of us. So if I, I want to be able to have the skill where I can just slow down immediately uh, to 80 knots, or 80 miles per hour rather in this plane, without losing altitude. So as I pull that power back, I'm pitching up here to hold my altitude. You can see the speed is bleeding off, and then I want to have the skill of being able to come back in with power right there so that I can hold my altitude at 2,500 and maintain that 80, not 80 miles per hour that I'm going for. The ability to sort of control your speed like that without losing altitude is the first critical skill you should practice. When you're inbound from Fisk, you're going to be pretty close to an airplane in front of you, and if you start to get too close, you're going to want to be able to slow down. Or if the guy behind you gets too close, you want to be able to speed up. You also have to be comfortable with descending turns, probably at steep banks, pretty close to the ground. A lot of us don't like to bank steeply close to the ground, but find yourself a CFI, go out there and practice the maneuver. And remember, if you're not pulling on the yoke, if you're not loading up those wings, uh, you're not going to stall the airplane, and you do want to be able to roll into a coordinated turn, descend without gaining too much airspeed or losing airspeed and then roll out so that you can then land on whatever color dot they give you. So let's practice here. We're going to go power back all the way to idle. We're going to put flaps into about 10 and then we're just going to practice sort of banking deeply and releasing the back pressure. Right? We don't generally bank steep close to the ground uh, but if you're releasing the yoke, if you're releasing in the bank, you are not going to stall the airplane. All right, gave it away in the last one. So when it comes time to land, you have to land on a colored dot. There's an orange dot, a pink dot, blue dot, green dot, whatever they are, purple dot. Often, they'll change it at the last minute. You were clan clear to land on the orange dot, but now they want you to extend, 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 and go ahead and land on the pink dot. So it's wise to practice shifting your landing point very late in the game. And remember, do this with a CFI in the airplane. Okay, so let's imagine for this first pass that we're aiming for these white thousand foot markers and at the last minute, somebody says they need us to move that to another spot further down the runway. You wanna kinda of do slow flight over the runway here and you wanna add enough power that your airspeed and altitude don't change. Not so much power that you gain 20 knots and not too little because you'll run out of energy and that's a really bad situation. So it'll depend on how high you are, how heavy you are, and how many flaps you have out. Okay, so we're going to be coming in, looking. Now, the key to hitting any spot here is to have an aiming point, right? So we're, if we want to really land on those white dots, we're going to be aiming for something in front of them. Maybe two runway stripes in front of them. That's our aiming point. And we want to control our speed and hold on to that aiming point 
as we descend. Auburn traffic, Skyhawk 9860, Gulf Short, final 25, Auburn. Okay, so right now we're still holding that aiming point, but what if at the very last minute, they say, you know what, continue down to the orange dot, continue down to the orange dot, so we're gonna add power here, just enough to kind of float down to the next dot, so we're gonna go over our first landing point, and then we're gonna put it down somewhere farther down the line. All right, there it goes. All right, aviators, thanks for watching this video. Please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, hit that little alert bell so you get notified of uploads. Share far and wide with your friends. Uh, please leave me a uh, comment if there's a video, a specific video you guys would like to see. There's tons of bonus content on Patreon, and we're adding content to the Ground School app all the time. So if you haven't gotten your free three-day trial, make sure you do that. I'm Jason Miller. You guys are the best fans on the internet. Until next time, be safe. Buy your best.